you know, honestly, this is where we hold our value. You know what I mean? It's, it's, there's the things that we've experienced and been through and, and help people work through um, that, you know, when that type of thing happens again, then we know exactly what to do. Um, but as for nightmare scenarios in our area, oil tanks are, are, can be a nightmare scenario. So if you're selling a property or buying a property um, that has an oil tank, what do you do, right? There's no, there's no handbook that says this is exactly what you're supposed to do. So when you're in a situation where, you know, you're working with a seller and they find an oil tank on the property, um, it's your ability to say, hey, listen, in this situation, do not allow the buyer to touch that. It can put you at a major disadvantage. There's major legal implications of saying, hey, you remove it as the buyer. Now, when you remove that, and then you find a second one on the property, <laughs> this is a disaster scenario that actually happened to where, you know, they were, they were actually filling the, the soil back in and they hit another hard object and it was another oil tank. So, you know, having been in the business for so long and seeing way too many oil tanks, um, had good relationships with the company actually removing them. They're in charge of doing all the EPA cleanup and stuff like that. So listen, having the relationships and knowing how to position the seller to be, have minimal exposure, um, both were removed and we actually broke, we made a record breaking sale price on that property. So both tanks got removed, buyer and seller were both happy. Nobody had any legal implications from it. But it was a disaster at the same time. <laughs>